Hello, I'm going to talk to you about electric charge and the electric field. And we're going to do some demonstrations. Here I've noted that we have two kinds of electric charge. We have a positive charge, which I'm indicating with a plus sign, a negative charge, which I'm indicating with a minus sign. And we note that like charges repel. For example, two positive charges repel one another, or two negative charges repel one another. Also, we note that opposite charges attract. Here I have a positive charge and a negative charge attracting one another. And if I reverse the order, put negative here and positive here, we see that posit positive, the positive charge is attracted by the negative charge, and the negative charge is attracted by the positive charge. They're attracted toward one another. I'd like to demonstrate that with a little uh, series of experiments here. Here I have two ping pong balls and a piece of fur, and I'm going to rub uh, the ping pong balls with the fur, and uh, what happens here is it turns out that uh, the electrons are being rubbed from the fur onto the ping pong ball, so both the ping pong balls will become negatively charged, and we'll see what happens when we have two like charges. We see indeed that they repel one another, indicating that like charges repel. Now let me take uh, just a single ping pong ball, and we'll do some more experimenting. I'll rub that with the fur, do the same thing to it that I did to those uh, two balls previously. Rub electrons from the fur onto the ping pong ball. So that the ping pong ball is negatively charged, and we can show that it is. Uh, because we know that if we take a rubber rod and rub it with fur, that we rub electrons from the fur onto the rubber. So the rubber is negatively charged, and we see indeed it does repel the uh, negatively charged ping pong ball. Like charges repel. Now, if I take a glass rod and uh, rub it with a silk, we're going to see something just a little different. We're going to see that the glass rod is positively charged and it attracts the negatively charged ping pong ball. What happens is when we rub glass and silk together, the uh, silk uh, gathers electrons from the glass, leaving the glass positively charged, and it therefore uh, attracts the negatively charged ping pong ball. We can also illustrate uh, attraction to a positive object because when we rub the fur and the rubber, we're taking electrons from the fur to the rubber so that the rubber becomes negatively charged. And of course, that would leave the fur positively charged, so the fur then should attract the negatively charged ping pong ball, and let's see if that happens. And we see indeed the fur attracts the negatively charged ping pong ball, indicating that like charges repel and opposite charges attract. 